Alrighty then. <clears throat> Today, um, I'm going to be talking about this 18-year-old teenage boy named Adrian Baker. Yeah. Apparently a couple weeks ago, I think it was, since it all started. He was in a connection to the Grand Rapids riot during the uh, Black Lives Matter movement. And unfortunately, I just saw this video today on my recommended page, and it appears that he might be going to jail for at least 10 years. So let me go to the YouTube video that I just saw and uh, watch it from there. And riot moving to the courts today. The first person is now facing charges and could spend up to 10 years in prison. Barton Dieters was in court today when the teen made his first appearance. Barton. All right, Sue, if this had been a malicious destruction of property charge, the most that someone without a record could get would be about a year in jail. But this charge, the rioting charge, is much more harsh, comes with a 10-year possible sentence in prison. People of the state of Michigan, there's Adrian Baker. Are you Mr. Baker? Baker? Yes, yes, Your Honor. Today, the young man who appeared from jail was anything other than the strutting engines of destruction we saw burning and looting downtown Grand Rapids. Adrian Baker, 18, was visibly scared and near tears as he pleaded with the judge about his inability to raise bond and his hope to get out of the jail cell he has occupied for the last day and a half. But while the court probation office recommended a personal recognizance bond, Grand Rapids District Court Judge Michael Distel said he believed the nature of the alleged offense made him concerned for the public safety. So he demanded a bond before Baker could get out of jail. Baker told the judge he recently reconnected with his birth mother who lives in Goebbels and was trying to finish his GED and get a job. Baker said he's been living in Washington until about four months ago and came to live in Grand Rapids. This is how Baker reacted when he found out he was being held on $5,000 bond. Sir, I'm confused on what you're saying. You're saying that I have to pay that, and if I pay that, then those are the stipulations. I can't get out. Um, I, I need to get numbers. I need to be able to. I have no numbers here memorized. I don't have anybody to reach out to help me with this bond. Now at 6, we'll hear from the Kent County prosecutor about how this is the first time he's ever had to, to issue this charge, but it's certainly not going to be the last. In Grand Rapids, Barton Dieters, News 8. Okay, Barton, thank you. Well, next, I have to go to his Instagram, which I'll probably... Uh, Type it right in there, somewhere. And, let's see, Adrian Baker. At first, I thought what I, I thought what I found wasn't Adrian Baker's Instagram, but His username has a three in his last name. Okay, sorry for that. I have to... It's kind of hard to see when it's like this. So you have to turn your phone like this. Which I really hate to do because I really don't have my tablet to resolve this problem, so this is what I have to do right now until 
I get my tablet fixed, and then I'll go back to my original format. And there's a lot of Adrian Bakers here. I swear I searched on Instagram before. Maybe it doesn't work on the mobile version. But I'm gonna have to try to fix that then. And I'll probably just type his middle name, which is Keech. Ah, uh, there we go. Okay, so yeah. This is practically his Instagram. At least I think it is. No, I'm not trying to dox him because how could I dox him? I'm only trying to find the information to confirm if it's actually him. And of course it is. And the other thing is that he goes to Gobbles High School. Not sure if he is a graduate of, of that school. Oh wait, class of 2021. I'm reading through, through my, uh, laptop, by the way, because it kind of shows that he goes to Gubbles High School, and for that reason, um, he was supposed to graduate in 2021, but right now he is being placed on bail, and I'm not sure if he gotten out of bail yet. That's why I'm still looking for more stories about the guy. To see if he got out. And, uh, you know. I just had a. I just don't understand why people today would join a riot if they are trying to pursue other goals in life. Alrighty. So I'm gonna now take you to the. website that uh, apparently reported about Adrian Baker at least 15 days ago after June 1st. All right, come on. Okay. So, anyway. Now, From, from the website Newsbreak, it says that a Gobbles man has been charged with writing a potential 10-year felony in the weekend unrest in downtown Grand Rapids, Adrian Keach Baker.
who was 18, was charged with riding along with larceny in a building, a four-year felony, and a malicious destruction of property under $200, a misdemeanor. And, you know, I really feel bad for him. I really do. But, I highly think that this kid knew better than to be a jackass and go and join the riding crowd and, you know, mess up his chance of wanting to start a, start a new life, go to college, and do what he usually had to do. I mean, it's just so crazy that people like this would be able to at least do the thing that they are not supposed to do, which is to... Unfortunately, break in and, you know, he probably won't get what he wants now. I mean, this is highly... unfair for him because he probably probably didn't know any better in the first place but like I just gotta ask you, ask this kid why the hell would he proceed to do it in the first place anyway why would he not realize that he could lose his life for the next 10 years just to bet that he would go out his way and try to damage everything else. He's just more of an idiot than a smarter person because I intentionally don't like when people have to start writing and think if it think it solves a problem. The problem that we're in right now is the police brutality part. So you go in and destroy the stores. I mean that's not the part of the peaceful protest. Writing is not part of peaceful protest. And if, if he was actually joining a peaceful protest, then he wouldn't be writing in the first place. I mean, seriously, I really do feel bad for him. Still. But he gets what he deserves. I don't care what you guys will say, what he will look like in the comments below. I will bring you those pictures in just a moment now. You can make fun of him all you want. I don't care. You can make fun of him all you want in the comments below. I seriously, seriously don't care. I seriously, really don't care if you make fun of him in the comments below. Because it's just so troubling to see people like him to pretty much waste their life away 
in like at least one hour to do to do some writing by breaking into businesses that are closed during this time because they were supposed to be open in faces by the governor's orders and writing of course will interfere that And that's what this kid certainly did. Adrian, if I had to come over there and tell you face to face right now, I would tell you this. How about you start peaceful protest the right way and not start writing into store in a in a, into a store the wrong way. Because if you, if you go with a crowd of writers and you think you can, like, steal a pair of, for example, a Nike sneakers, then you're... Uh, then you're... a fucking... Monkey. Asshole. You're fucking monkey asshole. Who would do anything to at least... Help, in quote, the people spreading the message who are the protesters and they're peacefully protesting. You, on your hand, tried to do that, but you couldn't. I just wished, for the most part, that you didn't do this in the first place and you stayed home. If you wanted to go and fight for what's right, by standing up with Black Lives Matter, writing into public or private owned businesses is not the way to go. Like, seriously. I just wish that you did not need to do any of the t these things. I just wish you didn't. Well, if he does get out of jail... Uh, pretty soon, then I'll make another video about that. If not, then he'll probably be in there for at least 10 years.